What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're playing some more Balloons TD6. So it's been a while since I've made a video. I've been doing lots of streams. If you watched the last stream, I actually unlock Sorda. Um, and she's very good. She's very, very powerful hero. And we beat the Lynch boss. So we got some trophies and we unlocked this profile. So in today's video, we are just going to be playing really. Um, but I want to try to level up the engineer a bit more because I need to get this ultra boost unlocked. Um, and I got a lot of tower XP, including the Dark Monkey Paragon. Well, I don't have it unlocked yet, but it's there. And we are so close to the final T5 on the boat as well, which is also amazing. Um, what map should we play on, guys? Because we want a bit of monkey money as well, because we're starting to go a bit low on monkey money. <laughs> starting to get a bit low on monkey money. I'm just going to go for the cornfield. I, I really like the cornfield. Um, we're going on to medium, so it's like not easy it's not easy it's not hard we're gonna get sorted out look at her range she is a melee tower so the range is isn't the best um but we're just gonna put her right there we're gonna throw in two cash drops and we're going to remove this one at the top get a banana farm down well, we're going to get a few banana farms down. As you can see, Sorda is a melee attacker. So, she has swords ha as her weapons. She can hit camo from the start. And with her ability, she can hit lead. So, she can hit every single type of tower. We're going to go for an engineer monkey. Uh, if I can put him there, that'd be really nice. But we can't. Which is really sad. We're just going to put him right there. And then eventually get sentry gun. You guys didn't know, sentry gun is one sentry gun um equivalates to the power of a one zero zero dart monkey um so that's pretty powerful if you think of it that way i'm gonna put a banana farm down because i really can't be bothered to pick up the bananas <laughs> and i'm definitely gonna go for the banana plantations upgrade um because that's just super powerful and eventually i'll get another banana farm down but right now we don't particularly need it um, should I just get another one down? I should probably get another one down. Okay, ready and boom. Here's another banana farm down. We're just going to start to get increased production on all of these guys. Because increased production, very powerful. No, but we want sentry gun first. Because sentry gun puts down a sentry. And this sentry is going to be powerful. And he puts down multiple sentries. So that is also, look, he's got two down. He should put another one down. That's three. He's got three sentries now, that's crazy. <laughs> and then we're gonna want to go uh, increase production on these banana farms. There we go. Right, we've got great production on every single banana farm. That's gonna be making us some big money. Plus we're gonna go faster engineering, larger surface area, and eventually deconstruction, but we're gonna want to remove this. It's only 700, so we should be able to afford that. We need sword ability. That's her first ability. She puts swords down on the floor. Which is so awesome, actually. Now that I think about it. She can hit balloons from anywhere. And she just... Zoom. If there was a balloon... If there, like, if there was a little blue balloon just leaking through. Sword it. And then it just absolutely demolish it. <laughs> Look, boom. No matter where it is. It just... It just it's so awesome. <laughs> so now they do more damage to modified mo Moabs and fortified balloons. I'm pretty sure that's it um but first thing we want real quick is actually i remember from the last video we got an instant monkey boomerang and it was the uh glaive lord monkey um which is very powerful we'll get red hot ranks and no not glaive lord more glaives and more glaives just ricochets through and at the end of the other um, last stream we got the monkey knowledge point. So the glaives ricochet up to 80 times. Which just bonkers. <laughs> Absolutely bonkers. We should be able to fit four banana farms in the range of the farmer. Four more banana farms in the range of the farmer. Look how powerful that sword is as well. Yeah, this guy's definitely going to help out. Like, a lot. Um, Because he's just going to ricochet. He ricochets 80 times. 
I l I l the boomerang, the glaive ricochet might be one of the most satisfying towers in the game. <laughs> Either that or like the carpet of, um, or the spike storm or the carpet of spikes. Um, because of how it just goes and it just puts them everywhere on the track. It's just so satisfying. Um, we're gonna get another banana farm down. No, not banana farmer, banana farm. <laughs> Um, with increased production and obviously greater production when we can. Yeah, this guy just absolutely melts, um, big herds of blooms. Like, ready? Boom. Boom. You can't tell me that's not satisfying. That is actually so satisfying. <laughs> We're gonna save up 3,000 for a banana plantation. And when we get the banana plantation, it's gonna be easier to get another banana plantation. And then another one, then another one, then another one. Banana plantation, that's the first one. This one's definitely gonna to want to get um valuable bananas. They're just gonna be 25% more cash. Um which is just if you think about it, that's so much more money. Like so much more. All these white balloons evaporated. Alright, all these sentry guns are also going to be so powerful. Because this this is just four dark... This is basically four zero zero dark monkeys. Just like that. Just It's just so amazing. Sorda has camo, which is also really nice. Oh my god, we've got so much money. We've got so much money. <laughs> we can get valuable bananas down. We've got so much money. Um, Valuable bananas on this one. Farming's really easy now. Because I used to be too scared to waste my money because I was saving up for a hero. But now that we've got a hero, um, we don't have to worry. What I do, I literally, um, I just click on the banana farmer. I just buy a few. So in any game, I can just pop down a banana farmer, put down some banana farms. Watch this round, ready? Wait. Why isn't he ricocheting? Why isn't he ricocheting? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'll swallow. Why isn't he ricocheting? That was so satisfying. Here we go. Sword of has lead on this ability. Oh, this guy's re this guy has red hot ranks. <laughs> it doesn't matter either way. Um, so we're gonna get another banana plantation because the more banana plantations we do, the more we get. And guys, I am going on a holiday soon. Actually, tomorrow morning I am leaving. I'm pretty sure it's tomorrow morning. Um, I am leaving. So. If I'm not posting for a while, um, that is why. It's not because I'm quitting YouTube, it's because I'm out and about on holiday. Um, so don't worry about that. And if you guys are enjoying, make sure to like and subscribe. And share, to, share the channel to a friend, guys, or family, anybody. It just really helps out, overall. Um, we're just going to remove all the corn from here. Um, so these sentries have all the range that they can need. And they can be placed further around. We're going to get a sniper monkey right there. No. We don't want it there. We can get banana farms there. We can get banana farms there. Uh, I want to maximise this place placement. Uh, should I put it there? Can he reach? He can reach. Hopefully he can reach. Can he reach them all though? Let me upgrade these guys so they actually produce bananas. <laughs> he can reach. Alright, he can reach. So we can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight banana farms down at, with one farmer. That's actually really good. That's actually really good. Um, we're just going to go for valuable bananas on that and then valuable bananas on this. Because valuable bananas is just that extra money for everything, really. Um, and then, what well, tower's good? Well, for the Moab, we're obviously just going to... We'll just quickly get a sniper down. Um, we'll set him to strong, and then we'll get a large calibre. With fast firing, and then even fast firing. And then we'll get deadly precision. Deadly precision should just shred the Moab. If I'm not wrong. It should just one-shot... Yeah, see, it one-shots black balloons. Now it one-shots ceramic balloons, so... Moab's going to be no problem because it the Moab when it gets popped it produces um thingy uh four ceramic balloons um and this guy can pop the Moab and he's going to one shot every single ceramic balloon that it, um produces um what should I get now 
What should I get now? Nothing, really. I'm completely fine on defense. For now. For now. <laughs> uh, let's use Sword's ability. Just, just for the pops. Just for the pops, you know. Just for the pops. <laughs> can I get a village there? I can. Oh my, that is so nice. That is so nice. So this guy's got camo now. This guy's got camo. This guy's got camo. This guy, this guy, girl's got camo. They always have camo anyway. Sorda, Sorda always has camo. Sorda spawns in with camo. So that's really strong. <laughs> Like, ready? Watch this steady precision. One shot, one shot, one shot. It is one shot. That mob got deleted by this guy. This These sentries are pretty good. I need to unlock sentry expert. Because sentry expert deploys different types of sentries. So, look. So, like, I'm pretty sure that's an ice one. That's an ice one. And that's a bomb shooter. The black one is a bomb shooter. The blue one is an ice. And I don't know what these two are. They might be like a laser or something. I don't know. Yellow? Like electric? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe lead popping? No, that's the bomb shooter. So, like, if there's any leads on the screen, it'll start placing bomb shooters down. And if the balloons are going really fast, it'll place the ice sentries down. That's that's good. That's, that's actually really helpful. Watch this guy, his money is just going to shoot up. Because with the Milano Research Sensei, it's just so strong. This guy one-shot zebras. This guy's so strong. <laughs> He's so crazy strong. Um, You know what's weird, though? It's, it's the same... This cash... Oh, wait, no, it's not. <laughs> I thought it had the same art as this Banana Research Sensei creates. But it, the cash drops gives you 2.5 thousand. This only gets 390. So, I just thought that, but no, that's not the case. <laughs> banana research facility is definitely going to be a must. Um, look at these banana research facilities, just making the big money. Yeah, this was the first banana farm we placed down. And it's made, the, it's made like, not as, not as much money at all compared to these guys. Look at this guy, 19,000. That's enough for another one. Not yet, though. We need another one, though. This guy absolutely one-shots the rainbow balloons. No, purple balloons. And rainbow balloons. And zebra balloons. And ceramic balloons. It's just such a powerful T3. So is the Glaive Ricochet uh, upgrade. Oh, I can get Homeland Defense. Homeland Defense. Boom. There it is. That looks absolutely amazing. We're going to go for Spirit of the Forest, guys. Because I learned that Spirit of the Forest is amazing. Especially in the middle of the map. So we'll put it right there. And jungle Druid of the Jungle is actually really powerful on its own. Look at that. Look, ready? See, this guy's just going to get like a thousand pops like that. He one shot ceramics, I'm pretty sure. Because, yeah, look. He latches onto them and then he just crushes them down. So how much is the Spirit of the Forest? It's 35,000. Definitely possible. Definitely possible. <laughs> We're going to go for another banana research city. Ooh, there's a mob. Oh my god, sort of. <laughs> Just got leaped on. How much range left is there? If I put a banana farmer... No, if I put a banana farm right here. Like, right there. Is that going to pick up all the bananas? Or is it going to let, uh, let a few go? No, it's actually picking up everything. So we can get nine banana bombs in this little area. That's nuts. That is that is nuts. We're gonna get main Moab. That's just gonna stun Moabs. Um, and then we'll get Jungle's Bounty because that increases how much money banana farms make. I'm pretty sure. And it gives you money either way, so it's it's good. <laughs> it's just good. <laughs> We're gonna go for a spike. We'll just put it there. This guy only needs long, like... And this guy only needs deadly spikes. Anyways, uh... Just like the last over rounds, and it's a bit of like a... Uh, it's, a it's just like a safety. Safety precaution. It's an emergency thing. <laughs> and we're gonna put this to smart, so it puts them all the way at the back. Because <laughs> you want them as far as you possibly want. So they can reduce more spikes. Um... 
Sword or just leaps on it and just poops on the mob completely. Just shreds the mob. Alright, we're gonna want to get another banana research facility. We got so much money. Alright, when when we get this third banana research well, no, when we get this what? Seventh? Seventh banana research facility. That's crazy guys. Our seventh banana research facility. Yeah. We are good to go. Can I put a bomb shooter there? I seen it. I seen it. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, I, I just really wanted a recursive cluster. Because it's going to be round 63 soon and this guy will delete. By delete, I mean this guy will delete those ceramic balloons. <laughs> recursive cluster. Shred ceramics. This guy, yes, he'll pop like... Maybe 10 ceramics before they get to us, but still, this guy can just AoE damage all all day long. We'll go for Banana Central as soon as possible, but we're going to want to get another Banana Research Solicity down. Boom. <laughs> we got all the Banana Research Solicity down. So, there's the first ability. This is the second ability. It just drags through the track, and at level 20, it does that three times. And it has Infinite Pierce. There's 412 Monkey Money, so we made... The monkey money back for the banana farm we didn't actually spend any monkey money on this because we already had the banana farmer and all that anyway um so we already had that stuff we're gonna go for spirit of the forest spirit of the forest is just so powerful and the closer the vine the closer the the vines are to the spirit the stronger they are and then the further away the weaker they are all right so that's how that works I'm pretty sure it gets an ability. Don't get me wrong, but I'm pretty sure it gives an ability. Does it not? I could have sworn it had an ability. Where you could, like, um, pop all the vines. They just pop. Um, and it explodes everything. Which is absolutely crazy. Oh my god. Our money. When did we get 50,000? What do we do with this? A palmer spike would be nice. There we go. Yeah, palmer spike, boom. That's the defense of the back, straight away. We're gonna go for a, uh, a thingy, relentless glue at the start with corrosive glue, because I love that the corrosive glue is actually better somehow. And then we're just gonna get two more presses with faster throwing each. And we're gonna get an ice with that one. Palm Frost, Enhanced Freeze. We're going to go for a Snowstorm with Large Radius Refreeze. And we're going to go for an Embrittlement with Large Radius Refreeze. If you can't tell what I'm doing up here, it's just going to be no Moabs coming out the spawn, basically. <laughs> Primary Mentoring, Radar Scanner, boom. These guys should attack crazy fast now. These two are just going to be stunning the Moabs. And it's just going to be absolutely crazy. This guy's going to really need to set strong. We're going to set them all to strong. Uh, so that they only really target the mobs. Um, and then we're just going to play. We're going to actually turn on auto start. Because I'm getting really annoyed on pressing the play button. <laughs> um, a spectra would be nice. A spectra is actually really good. Really powerful. With lots more darts. He should pop the round 76 I'm pretty sure. There's like 75 ceramics all clumped up into one. Into one big rush. One big ceramic rush. Alright, we're gonna get... A permanent brew. Permanent brew, and then we're just gonna get a chunky defense. Like, a pretty chunky defense. <laughs> oh... First thing, first thing, what do you want? First thing we want, this guy, an elite defender. With that, because we have the radar, we don't need the middle path. Unless we want a shrapnel shot, but we don't want that. And then we're going to get an MAD, because MAD is strong, and we need strong towers. First, we're going we're gonna to need to go for that one first. We're not going to have the money yet for the MAD. Yeah, we might have a lot of money, but we have... But we don't actually have as much money as you think we do. Um, we What I'm saying is we could have more money. 
Um, and I'm going to do just that. And no, I'm not placing another banana farmer down. That's just a waste. We are just going to go for a bunch. And I mean a bunch of, not banks, but central markets and marketplaces. These are good because they collect by themselves, and you want to go valuable bananas on every single one of these because the valuable bananas path is actually better, it makes you more money. Um, look at all that money just flying for that round. It's crazy. We can use that for money, central market, and we'll get another central market on it. Um, should we get another central market? Yeah, we'll get another central market. My jaw is really hurting, guys. I don't know why. It's just really hurting. I think it's swollen because of all the streaming I've been doing. So sorry if I'm not speaking as energetic and like loud. It's just because if I do, I feel like it's going to pop. <laughs> I know it sounds disgusting, but I genuinely think it's going to pop. <laughs> like, it hurts. It's pretty sore. So I'm not speaking as crazy. Um, so sorry about that. But... Just gonna have to deal with it for this video. <laughs> Just gonna have to deal with it. These guys are making us a life as well, aren't they? I'm pretty sure they are. Um, where is the thingy again? Here it is. You can fit two banana bombs in there. Oh, easily. Easily. Oh, we'll just, well, we'll just put more in. More banana farms, the better. The more money, the better. <laughs> there we go. Another central market. Just like that. Boom. Just like that. And then another central market. This guy gives lives as well. So, we're just making life's, life's left, right, centre. Left, right, front, back and centre. <laughs> um, do we want another one? We we want another central market. And then we'll eventually get Monkey Wall Street. Just for that big money. Boom. Look at all these banana farms. Huh. That's a lot of banana farms. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> In the oh oh oh, this is gonna be good. In the range of the perma brute and the primary thingy, we're gonna go for the tax zone. The fast shooting and fast shooting. Look at this guy's range. That's not even a super. Look, attacks attack shooter here with super range is crazy. What's this ability again? Oh yeah, it just puts blades on the screen. Ah, that's pretty awesome, but we don't actually need it. We don't actually need it. And if you guys want me to start using a face cam on videos and not just a stream, just let me know. And I'll try my hardest to do that. We're going to put a sentry closer to the start because this guy's not getting any pops. And we need the sentry to get pops. No, we need the engineer to get pops. So what's the hotkey for the engineer again? I like to know it, but I don't. There it is. Look at all these engineers. Power in numbers, guys. Power in numbers. Ready? Boom. Look at all of these guys. Look at all of these. <gasps> boom, 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 boom. Deconstruction. Yeah. Yes, the power. Oh my god, when did I have 200,000? I don't know. <laughs> when did I have 200,000? Um, MED, I guess. Call to arms. Triple mob. Homeland defense. That looks so awesome. Boom. Look how fast the MED is shooting. Oh, what we do want. What we do want. We need to make sure we do get this. As early as possible, because this guy really helps out. Plus, with the camo on the village. There we go. It's a. Uh, well, people say BMA, but it's Blue Master Alchemist. And the Blue Master Alchemist, he can't be buffed by a Palmer Roof, which is pretty sad. 
Alchemist can't be buffed by Alchemist, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you can't buff al other Alchemists, which is very sad. But, but, on the other hand, the BMA one-shots ZOMGs. It one-shots Moabs, Ceramic, it one-shots any balloon in the game apart from BADs, all right? That's what's so good about this guy. He throws a golden potion. He throws a golden potion every now and then, and it turns a ZOMG into a red balloon, for example. <laughs> a red balloon, just a simple bog standard red balloon, which is crazy. If we lose a life, that guy will clean it up. Um, what? Ooh. What do I get? I can get anything. What's the most expensive tower? Probably a super mines, huh? Yeah, probably a super mines. So expensive. <laughs> uh, probably a couple of spikes with white heart. Smart spikes is a bit better than white hot spikes. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, but oh wait, no, I've already got the pump spikes. But it doesn't pop leads and DDTs and stuff, so I feel like the uh, thingies are better. The white hot spikes are better. Nice, there's round 100. There's to be you guys. Um, we've got 300,000 pounds. If you guys enjoy, make sure to like, subscribe, share to a friend. And we've got another achievement. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!